Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'll be showing you how you can design a foot massager in Kitsia V5. The completed design is right here and uh, this is the rendered image what the output we get after the designing and uh, let me just show you the some of the reference so I have uh, just recorded this uh, video for you so this video shows the uh, working of the foot massager how it works and uh, the rolling and etc I hope you people will be knowing about the working but uh, you know I'm just showing so this is from the side and I'll uh, slowly come to this the side view the first what I've shown is the front view and this is the top view and uh, this is the other side view and uh, then I'll show you the uh, rolling how the foot massager rolls when we uh, keep our fingers or foot or anything so here we'll show you how the food works on it so we'll keep it there and uh, we're gonna show you how the food moves on it so that's how the foot massager works and uh, that's it for the video part now let's come to the designing so here uh, we have the completed design and to start off with the design let's first go for a new par new product file new and go for the product click on OK and uh, we get the new product here and we could name the new product as uh, the name of the product as food massager um, study it's always a good practice to name your product Alright, now go for insert, new part, and click. And firstly, we'll create the uh, gear. So, for creating the gear, firstly, we'll name the new part as uh, gear. Click on OK and uh, double click on the part body so that we get the uh, part design workbench. And once you're on that, just click on the sketch and go for the YZ plane and make a basic sketch so the dimensions which we use in this are all uh, based on whatever I have in front of me the foot massager which I have in front of me over here so we can use the same dimensions and uh, go ahead with the designing so firstly I'll go for a profile tool just create a sketch like this and use the dimensioning tool and just allow a symmetry line as this one and then uh, give this dimension as 0 0.5 just make sure that you are in the centimeters unit and if you are not you need to change it to the centimeter units alright at centimeters now we could dimension this one to 0.5 again and the total height to 0.75 and this one has 0.78 zoom it a little inside and uh, exit the sketch now you can simply use the shaft command and select this as your profile and this as your uh, axis for the rotation and click on OK so this particular uh, thing serves as the repeating pattern for our uh, what do you say the gear mechanism we have 
So let's see what could be done in the next part of our tutorial. So I hope you're enjoying this new tutorial series and if you have any doubt on this please feel free to comment below the video. Thank you so much and stay tuned.